Okay guys, so today I'm going to show you how to install WordPress on hosting a server. So we'll go step by step, making it super easy for you to build your own website. Oh, and by the way, we've also negotiated special terms with Hostinger, which means that if you use the link in the description below, you'll get access to at least 75% discount. And if you use the coupon code MrWeb at checkout, you'll get an additional 10% discount on top. Okay. So well, let's get started. Okay guys, so the very first step is to take care of our hosting and domain name registration. So for this, simply click on the very first link in the description below where it says get hosting here. Now it's important that you use that link because it will bring you to a co-branded page that we have with Hostinger, which will give you access to 75% discount. And if you use the coupon code MrWeb at checkout, you'll get an extra 10% discount on top. So simply click on this link here. And this is going to bring you to this page. And again, this is a co-branded page that we have with Hostinger. So special prices, obviously, you know, special discounts. If you scroll down the page, you'll find different plans. So as you can see, start from only $2.99 per month. Next one up is $3.99. And then the cloud startup is $9.99. So what's the difference between those three? Well, basically is the performances and the speed. So as you can see, this one is standard performance. This one is up to five times faster and this one up to 10 times faster. So now it depends on the amount of resources that you need. If you're only running one website, this one is absolutely fine. Now, if you're running multiple websites and also maybe e-commerce websites, you might want to consider either this one or this one, depending on the amount of traffic and visitors that you're expecting every month. And also with Hostinger, you get a lot of free stuff. You know, you get free SSL certificate, free email, and also a free domain name. These options normally are paid with most web hosting companies. So in this case, you get those for free as well. And if you go for the business plan here, you get free CDN as well, content delivery network. Now, obviously, they provide you with daily backup and weekly backup. As you can see, the entry level here is weekly backup. So they will back up your website once a week. If you go for the 399 one, you'll get a daily backup as well. So every day you have a full backup of your website. So feel free to select any of those plans. You can start with the 299 one and you can always upgrade to the next one up later down the line if you need more resources. So let's get started with this one here. So click on add to cart. And from here, you're going to select your billing cycle. So as you can see, it goes from 12 months to 48 months. Obviously, the longer your billing cycle, the more you're going to save. As you can see, it's $2.99 per month, but here you're going to save $432, here $216, and right here $108. So what does that mean exactly? Well, basically, if you lock in your price at $2.99 for a year, after that, you will renew at $9.99. If you select 24 months, it will renew at $7.99 and 48 months, it will renew at $6.99. So basically for four years, you're going to pay $2.99 per month instead of $6.99. So feel free to select any of those. So let's continue on with the 48 months deal here. Okay, so let's scroll down the page. You can create your account. You select your payment method. And right here, we have a quick overview of how much it's going to cost you. So as you can see here, the normal price should be $707 down to $176. So this is a massive saving, isn't it? Now I also have a coupon code for you. So here, type in Mr. Web. So there you go. And as you can see, the normal price $176.53, including taxes. Now let's apply this. And as you can see, now it's only $158.88. So that means that you get to enjoy a massive discount of 78%. And then after this, proceed to check out. And now you can log into your account. So let's do this together. So simply enter your email address and password and let's log in. So this is your hosting a dashboard. And right here on top, as you can see, you can claim your free domain. So for this, let's click on claim domain. And right there, you're going to type the domain name that you want to register. So for instance, your domain name. Okay. And then select your extension. As you can see, you have .in for India, .me for personal websites, .com. This is the most popular one, obviously. You also have .net, .xyz, .hub, .host. So select the one that suits your type of business. So let's go ahead with .com as an example here. And then we're going to check the availability. So let's click on this. And as you can see, this one is already taken. So you might have to look for a different variation of your domain name. So in our case here, we're just going to try to register learn with Mr. Web, okay, as a .com. So again, let's check the availability. So this one is available. So we're going to claim our domain, okay? So let's do this together. So let's claim our domain. And then by law, you have to enter your details here, obviously, you know, because you have to know who's registering the domain name. So let's click on the next step. So I'm going to fill this out very quickly. So there you go. And now finish registration. Very good. So now let's click continue. 
Very good, as I can see, the email verification is pending at the moment. So basically go to your mailbox and click on the link that's inside that email. So we have done that already, so now we can refresh. Very good, as you can see, now it's active and verified as well. Now we can set up our server. So we go back home here. So depending on which plan you purchase, maybe premium, business or cloud, you will see one of those sections here, okay? So when it's not set up yet, you will have a button like this one just next to it. So again, it could be premium business or cloud. Either of those is absolutely fine, you know. So now click on setup. Now we're going to click on start now. And right here, you're going to go through a few different questions. It's like a setup wizard, basically, you know, to help you set up your hosting. So as you can see, I have a few questions here. What are you creating the website for? So you can select either of those or you can skip all together. I would advise that you skip this one all together, you know. Right here, what are you going to do? Are you going to create a new website or migrate a website? Well, in our case, we're going to create a new website. So select this. So do you want to build this with AI or ourselves? Well, we're going to build this ourselves. So just skip this step all together now. And you're going to select your domains. So normally it should show up automatically. But if you have more than one domain registered, you might click on the drop down menu and select the one that you want to assign to this. And then click select. And now right here, you're going to select your server. So this should be normally the nearest either to you or to your target audience. So let's say if you're based in the United States, selling to people in the United States, well, you select either of those two here. But maybe you're based in the United States, maybe selling exclusively in Europe, in which case you might select one of those servers here, okay? So because we're based in Ireland here, we can select either Netherlands or maybe United Kingdom. So United Kingdom should be nearest. So let's click on this and now you click change very good and now we're going to finish our setup so as you can see now it's taking care of everything we can see the progress line so now as you can see it's installing the ssl certificate for us automatically very good so we're done already as you can see well done you are ready so from here you can either go and see your website so we don't need that because we haven't built anything yet so we're going to go back to our control panel okay so let's click on manage site there you go and we're back to our dashboard now so now from here, we're going to create an email address and also we're going to install WordPress on our server. So first, as you can see, it says free email setup is not finished. So let's click on the manage here. Very good. So as you can see, I've paid plans as well. I would go with the free one. Absolutely no problem with this, you know, so I'll click select. So let's create our email address. So maybe info at you're going to enter your password and then a recovery email just in case. I'm just going to put hello at mrweb.tv. OK, and now we're going to create our new account. And there you go, as you can see, we have a new email address now and you can access it using the web mail. So if you click on this, you can open this in a new tab. So this is your email address, enter your password as well and click login. And there you go, as you can see, this is your mailbox, basically inbox and sent and spam and archive. So basically you can access all your emails immediately from here. And now we can go back to our dashboard. OK, so from here, we're going to install WordPress. So right here, you have website, click on this expand and as you can see you have wordpress and auto installer this is the one we need to click on okay so click on auto installer and now for this type of project we just need wordpress we don't need woocommerce woocommerce is an e-commerce platform we just need wordpress on its own so what we're going to do is click on this or select so first let's enter the website title so maybe learn with mr web make sure the admin email is correct and then create a username and a password as well now we move to the next step so right here you can select if you want automatic updates or not so it is advised to use this option here update only to minor version but that's really up to you if you want to automatically update to the newest version you can select this one here all together again that's really up to you okay and then click install and there you go guys you can see this is done already so we have everything installed you know light speed cache object cache ssl certificate so now you can edit your website by clicking on, on this button here. So I'll click on that, it will open up in a new tab and this will give us access to our WordPress dashboard. Very good, so as you can see, welcome to WordPress. So this is WordPress installed on Hostinger. Now you can also access your admin dashboard by typing your domain name and then forward slash WP hyphen admin. So either way is fine. So you can do this from the Hostinger uh, dashboard admin panel right here or simply type your domain name forward slash and then wp hyphen admin either way will work absolutely fine so there you go guys now you can start building any website that you want in wordpress now i've uploaded about 80 different wordpress tutorials on this channel so far so what i'll do i'll just leave the playlist right here and feel free to watch any of these thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one